Hello students, in today's lecture I will discuss uh, about the work and heat transfer. So let's start the topic work and heat transfer. See uh, there is a term which is called energy interaction or uh, energy transfer in the system or between the system and surrounding. So we can say uh, the energy transfer uh, in the system or energy transfer between the system and surrounding is the main cause of change in properties of the system by this by this energy interaction or energy transfer the properties of the systems are generally changed uh, see our topic is work and heat transfer so first i will give you a small introduction of heat and tra uh, heat transfer and work transfer then uh, I will discuss one by one about this heat transfer and work transfer. So let's start with the heat transfer. What is actually heat transfer uh, is uh, the heat transfer. If, if we consider any closed system. So if the closed system interact with the surrounding with temperature or we can say the temperature is considered during energy transfer that that type uh, that is generally called heat transfer here temperature is the key cause of the energy transfer we can also say so where the temperature is considered during the energy transfer that transfer is called heat transfer but in work transfer where there is uh, the temperature is not considered during energy transfer uh, or uh, energy interaction in closed system that is called work transfer so we can easily discriminate between the heat transfer and work transfer heat transfer where the temperature is considered and work transfer where the temperature is not considered work is one of the basic mode of energy transfer so before knowing uh, the work transfer uh, we should know or we should understand first what is work actually so uh, for this you can see a diagram here here we are considering a body which is in moving condition because of the external force here we are considering a moving body or the body is in movement after the application of force or after application of number of forces and the body is moving in the direction of force see this is the body a and f is the external force and the direction of force is this so the body will move because of this force f in the direction of force only so we can say the action of force on moving body the action of force on moving body is considered as work and here we can say uh, the product of force and distance here work is the product of force and distance so this product of uh, the product of force and distance is the mechanical work the very important thing which you should know uh, that is the uh, sign convention for the work done here the, these diagram is showing the sign convention uh, here we are considering a system and beyond this beyond the system there is a surrounding and if we are considering this diagram is showing the work done by the system here this diagram is showing work done by the system so if there is a work done by the system that work done is considered as positive and if we are considering work done on the system so that type of work done we will considered as negative and uh, the unit of the work is newton meter or joule we considered and uh, uh, the thing uh, the rate of work done and the rate of work done by or upon the system is generally called power and the unit of power is watt or joule per second there are various type of work transfer which can which we considered between the system and surrounding so here one kind of work i'm going to discuss uh, to uh, easily understand the work transfer that type of work is displacement work i'm going to discuss the displacement work here and this displacement work i will describe by this piston cylinder arrangement so here if we consider a system 
uh, if we consider a piston cylinder arrangement this is the cylinder and this is the piston uh, you can easily you can see in this diagram and uh, if we are considering this piston cylinder arrange, arrangement having gas inside at some pressure and volume at some initial pressure and volume if we are considering the initial position of the piston is 1 if we are considering the initial position of piston is 1 so at initial position the pressure and the volume of the gas is we are considering is p1 and v1 this is the initial position or the property of the gas at initial position of the piston when the piston is not moving now when the piston is is in the movement when the piston is doing movement or because of this gas uh, or because of this pressure of the gas when if the piston move in this direction and the piston reach uh, the final position or when the piston uh, is uh, stop at one point or the final position and if we are denoting this final position as position 2 and we are considering this position of the piston is uh, 2 or the final position so here we are considering the pressure and the volume of the gas is P2 V2 when the piston reaches its final position so here the pressure and volume we are considering as P2 and V2 and if we consider the pressure at any intermediate point in the travel of the piston is pressure P and V. If we are considering, see this is the initial position 1 and this is the final position 2. Here initial position, uh, at initial position pressure is P1 and volume is V1. And at final position the pressure is P2 and uh, volume is V2. And if we consider during the travel of this piston at any intermediate point between 1 and 2 and if we consider the pressure and volume at that intermediate point is P and V and if we also consider the thermodynamic equilibrium at that intermediate point and if we are considering the force acting on the piston is F and the area of the piston is small a so the force acting on the piston F is uh, will be P uh, is the uh, product of P and A. This is the pressure, pressure at the intermediate point. So, F, the force acting on the piston will be P into A. And if we also consider the piston is traveling the infinite similar distance dl. If we are considering the piston is traveling infinite similar distance dl at intermediate point, and in that condition, we can find out the infinite similar work done by the gas on the piston at intermediate point. So that if we are uh, denoting this work done by the gas on the piston uh, the infinite symbol work done by the gas on the piston is dw so this dw will be equivalent to f into dl f is the force acting on the piston and dl is the infinite symbol distance traveling by the piston this f equal to pa so this will be pa dl we can write this dw as p into dv where p dv here p is the pressure and dv is the infinite symbol volume this that is equivalent to a into dl so we can write here dw equal to p into dv you can see a pv diagram for this piston cylinder arrangement uh, here the point one this point 1 is showing the initial position of the piston here pressure is P1 and uh, volume is V1 this is the initial position of the piston and with the drop of the pressure uh, um, uh, by the pressure of the gas the piston move from point 1 to 2 from initial position to final position and this is showing the drop of pressure and at point 2 final position the pressure is P2 and volume v2 this is showing the path followed by the piston from point 1 to point 2 or from initial position to final position so we can say the amount of work done when the piston move from position 1 to 2 with the change in volume v1 to v2 here from point 1 the uh, volume was v1 and 
from uh, at point two the volume is v two. So we can say the amount of work done when the piston moves from position one to two with the change in volume v one to v two is denoted by w one two. This is the amount of work done. This is equivalent to integration of limit v one to v two p d v. By this formula or by this way, we can find out the amount of work done when the piston moves from position one to two with change in volume. And here, the magnitude of, in this diagram, the magnitude of work done is shown by the area under path one and two. Here, this hatched line is showing the area. Uh, or this area is showing the magnitude of work done, uh, or the magnitude of work done by the piston from initial position to final position. And here, uh, if the piston moves infinitely slow, if we are considering the piston is moving infinitely slow, so at every state, if we consider number of state between point one and two on this path, path one two, so the every uh, uh, every if we are considering the piston is moving infinitely slow, so uh, every state between one and two, from initial position to final position, or the point which is passing through one to two, is in equilibrium state. So we can say the PDV work is performed only on the quasi-static path. This was all about the work transfer. I will discuss some other points of the work transfer in next lecture. And uh, in, in another lecture, I will discuss about the heat transfer also. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures.